this afternoon, again, I want to just be a little bit defensive of a record that I've always liked. A friend of mine got it when it came out and kindly taped it for me when we used to do things like that, swapping tapes. And so I had that tape for a long time, listened to it quite a bit and always enjoyed it. Then I got it myself, on vinyl of course. So what is it I'm talking about? I'm talking about this. GTR from 1986. Now GTR were a so-called super group. Don't like that expression, but there you go. Featuring the famous British guitar players, Steve Howe from Yes and Steve Hackett from Genesis. The rest of the lineup was, most of the time, the singer Max Bacon and you've got bass guitar from Phil Spaulding and Jonathan Mover on drums. Now Jonathan Mover came from Marillion. So this record is an interesting one because it's again one of those records that's quite polarising and in this case extremely polarising. Now what do I mean by that? Well what I mean is it received one of the very one of the most very famous reviews of all time by some guy who nobody knows. So but they do know his review. But we shan't go into that because what do what do reviewers know? Nothing. Anyway, so what songs do we have on here? When the Heart Rules the Mind, great song. The Hunter, Here I Wait. Sketches in the Sun and Jekyll and Hyde to Close Side One. These are all great songs. And whenever I hear, hear this record, I always enjoy it. Now, it's not something that I listen to loads and loads and loads, but as I say, when I do hear it, I always enjoy it. Now, why don't I listen to it loads and loads and loads? Well, I don't know. Maybe there is a lack of quality here. But it certainly isn't SHT. Absolutely not. And now you have side two. Side two is not as good. It's not as strong as side one. Okay, you have, you can still get through. Reach out and never say no. Toll the line, which is good. Hack it to bits, which is obviously Steve Hackett's instrumental piece, which is cracking. And Imagining, which is a great song, and always reminds me of Yes. As I, as, as, I suppose, quite an, a lot of this record does, because it does remind me of 90125 by Yes, which is not a bad thing, because that is a good record. So I always thought this was good anyway. Um, Genesis fans and Yes fans felt it was a little bit average or at least some did uh, I didn't think it was average I thought there was some good moments on here as I say side 2 is nowhere near as good as side 1 but you can't have everything there are some very famous records out there that have not been as good as side 1 so there you go now how did it actually do in the charts well in the states it went gold and went to number 11 so that's pretty damn good considering it received such hate beyond hate it, 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 this went further than hate from some of the critics it was it was absolutely despised by some of them and I, to this day I scratch my head and I can't figure out why because it's not that bad at all not that bad at all. It's actually very good. Not all the way through, but not much is. It was a good record. Good record. So here's the guys as they looked back in the day, 1986. 
So yeah, GTR by GTR, the so-called supergroup. Hate that expression, but there you go. Just wanted to get on here and say that this record, if you've not heard it, and you like 80s Yes, you're missing out because this is good. It's a good record. It's not SHT. It's good. It really is. So you should give it a listen if you've missed out on it. Uh, Steve, Steve Hackett and Steve Howe weren't exactly the best of buddies on this during this project. The project lasted for about three years. We got one record out of it, which is this puppy, GTR. Um, it was an expensive record to make. And I think that and the fact that Mr. Hackett and Mr. Howe didn't exactly see eye to eye on a number of things, made the whole thing just capitulate when we got to about 1987. Which is fair enough. You know, you can't throw good money after bad. There was plans for a second record. They did a little tour actually, and um, apparently they were exceptionally good. I didn't get to see them, but you know, it's not the end of the world. So that's me in defence of GTR by GTR from 1986.